The Ecological Green Party of Mexico Spanish, Partido Verde Ecologista de México PVEM or PVE is a green conservative political party in Mexico. In the 2012 legislative elections, the party took 34 seats in the Chamber of Deputies out of 500 and 9 seats in the Senate out of 128. During the 2012 presidential election, PVEM supported Enrique Peña Nieto EPN, the candidate from the Institutional Revolutionary Party PRI, who was elected. In 2018, PVEM supported To Do's Poor Mexico Everyone for Mexico Coalition, along with PRI and PANAL. José Antonio Meade, the coalition's candidate, came in third in a four-way race, with 16.43% of the vote. Controversies Pro-death penalty campaign In 2008, the PVEM initiated an advertising campaign in favor of reintroducing the death penalty in Mexico. This led to the European Green Party's withdrawal of recognition of the PVEM as a legitimate Green Party. Anti-LGBT rights factions During an interview, PVEM candidate Gamaliel Ramirez verbally attacked an openly gay candidate for Guadalajara mayor and called for criminal laws against homosexuality to be established. In the following days, Ramirez issued a written apology after the party expressed disappointment at his remarks. While the party has pledged to support LGBT rights issues, three representatives abstained from a vote on Mexico City granting legal recognition to same sex couples. Accusations of corruption and nepotism The PVEM is also widely criticized because its current leader, Jorge Emilio Gonzalo Martinez, was appointed for being the son of former leader Jorge Gonzalo Torres, and for supporting the political and business agenda of Mexican businessman Victor Gonzalo Torres, owner of the Pharmacias Similares drugstore franchise and Gonzalo Martinez's uncle. Topic: Unlawful political advertising in movie theaters. In January 2015, the National Electoral Institute (INA) ordered the PVEM and theater chains Cinemex and Cinepolis to cease airing PVEM advertisements on the grounds of fairness in electoral contests. When the PVEM and the theaters did not comply, the INA imposed a fine of $35 million on the PVEM and $7 million on both theater chains. Electoral history Presidential elections Topic Congressional elections Topic Chamber of Deputies Senate elections <Sanitary> 